This is Sardi Sharma solution class 12 the exercise is 16.3 we are taking it from chapter number 16 tangents and normals find the angle of intersection of the following curve so there are two curves here and these two curves they will intersect they can intersect in one point or multiple point the combination of these two equation will tell us how many point they are going to intersect so the intersection is basically overlapping or cutting each other so we'll draw tangent at the cutting point on these two curves and the angle between these two tangents will be the angle between these two curves so let us start we have x square by a square plus y square by b square this is equal to 1 the second equation is x square plus y square is equal to ab so the best thing is multiply this whole by or multiply this second equation by 1 by a square let us see what we what do we get because essentially we have to subtract these two so x square plus by a square plus y square by a a square equal to ab by a square so you'll get this one so you can call it as 1 2 and 3 now just subtract 1 and 3 when you subtract 1 and 3 you will get x square by a square will get eliminated and this y square by b square here and here y square by a square will be so there is a slight change i'll make here because we have multiplied everything by 1 by a square so you will get uh, the subtraction and from that you can find out the value of y and is and then consequently we'll get the value of x so we have subtraction 1 and 3 so y square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to b by a minus 1 let us take a uh, y square here so you will get y square common so b square minus a square by a square minus a square into b square we have taken 1 by a square minus 1 by b square on the right it will be b minus a by a um, and this b square minus a square is b minus a into b plus a it's not b minus a into b minus a it's b minus a into b plus a so one b minus a if you cancel it out b plus a will remain this one so b plus a will remain and the denominator you have a square b square a is already on the right hand side so one a also gets cancelled out so finally this will become this a into a plus b a square b square as i just indicated a one a will get cancelled so we have ab square by b plus a So y will be what? It will be under root of this thing. So you have plus minus. We will come out. It will be a by a plus b. This is y. Now you already have a y now. As I just said, it will be plus minus b by uh, b into under root a by a plus b. So plus minus will both come. Now getting x, you can put this y in any of the equation. All right. So I am just putting this y square, which is actually equal to a b square by a plus b, equals to a b. So those those things we can take on the right hand side. AB minus AB square by A plus B. AB you can take common, so you'll get one minus uh, B by A plus B. Then you get A plus B minus B by A plus B. BB gets cancelled. You have this AB. So A square B by A plus B it is. Now you'll also get X as plus minus of this thing. So this plus minus A into under root B by A plus B. So you have X and Y, but there can be four combination: plus plus, minus minus, plus minus, minus plus. So we'll start with, uh, or I'll tell you the one of the combination, and uh, let me assure you that all the other three combination will also give you the same value. I hope you got the idea. I am taking there. There will there may be four combination because Y and X, they both are plus minus. So there are four things actually. So when you make the combination, it will be N C R. Okay. So four C three that is going to be. I'll just got differentiate this one first of all. First of all, because we want dy by dx, and on the second also we want the dy by dx and this slope slope of the tangent we want. So as I said, just multiply everything by a square b square. You'll get b square x square plus a square y square equals to a square b square. You can take the LCM also. Now I'm differentiating it. B square x square is two x a square here two y dy by dx. On the right it is going to be zero because it is a constant. So you get a square two y dy by dx. On the right it will go it will be negative negative b square two x. This you can cancel two two. So a square y remain on the left hand side uh, left hand side and b minus b square x on the right hand side. So this a square will go in the denominator. This y also goes in the denominator. This is your dy by dx. Now the this is slope actually. Now slope of the second equation also we are going to find out two x plus two y dy by dx is equal to zero. Two two you can cancel. This y dy by dx is equal to negative x. So negative x by y dy by dx is negative x by y. So you have now the slope of the lines that is m one and m two. But this m one and m two or dy by dx has to computed at the four combination. So I'll take that plus plus combination plus plus combination. Take out the value of slopes m one and m two and then find out the value of the 
the angle between these two slopes m1 and m2 so as i said previously it was tan inverse 9 by 2 in the uh, another question we got tan inverse 1 even the different combinations gave us the same result same here here also we are going to do the same thing this m1 i am taking y as b under root a by b a plus b x as a under root b by a plus b so m1 is minus b square by a square because this minus b square by a square x by y you have to do dy by dx actually we are finding so i am placing x as plus a under root a b by a plus b y as plus b under root a by a plus b so now you can just cancel these things out whichever is possible and the final result just write it here this is minus b by a under root b by a. i'm co i have combined the under root values this is the slope of the first curve or the tangent to the first curve at this point which is which we just found out x and y now the slope again at the second at this point of the second curve at the same uh, coordinates so just uh, minimize it or simplify it you will get minus a by b under root b by a so you have m1 and m2 here this is m1 this is m2 and uh, this m1 and m2 is, is going to give you tan theta tan theta is what m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 now this has to be inside modulus please remember the answer will come you have to take the positive only so now i am writing m1 minus m2 and this is m1 this is m2 1 plus m1 into m2 now i'll just leave it for you to solve it because it will takes uh, a little while but uh, my thing is to give you the concept this is the whole procedure you are going to adopt and this tan theta is going to come as the value and this tan theta when you take i have taken just combination of y and x as plus and plus but i am saying that you have to take all the combinations so tan theta will come as a minus b uh, by under root ab so theta is tan inverse of this a minus b divided by under root ab so what are the all other possibilities plus and plus we have taken next time y and x so so plus minus this is say call it as plus minus h i'm not writing it again so i'm just naming it as plus minus h plus minus k so hk i already showed you that is xy now minus h minus k will be a combination then minus h and k will be a combination h and minus k will be the combination so all these combination you have to do but let me tell you that all the history we know with the question we have come through this is comes same so let me show you the reference here this is how you are going to do it it will take a little while but i hope the concept if it is clear you will be able to go through it and solve it by yourself the other combinations now angle of intersection of the following curve and since we have done questions like this already so i'm going to go through it pass through it all the combination so you to uh, plus minus 2 plus minus 1 uh, all the combinations you are going to adopt so there will be four combinations here as i indicated multiple times in the previous question this is again a very uh, easy question because angle of intersection has to be found out again it's quite uh, easy because tougher question than this we have already attempted and completed this also i'm going to go through it if we have known first and question second question pro properly okay now this question has to be discussed because the question is different show that the following set of curve intersect orthogonally so you have to find out whether they are intersecting the the curve at 90 degree so this is the first equation second equation let us solve these two equation when you solve this equation eventually you have to do what m1 and m2 will come if you multiply them it will be negative 1 you will say that it is orthogonal so i am just replacing y by x square in the second equation which is 6y equals 7 minus x square so 6 i am just put x as 1 1 just gut gut feeling x equals to 1 when you put x equals to so 1 this whole equation becomes zero so at x equals to 1 uh, is it the equation is zero that means x minus 1 is a factor so now divide this 6x cube plus x square minus 7 by x minus 1 so that you can get other values also means other factors also so multiply x minus 1 by 6x square you'll get 6x cube minus 6x square now you can just change the sign uh, and and write the value because you are subtracting eventually So we'll get uh, this as seven x square minus seven. Now you want seven x square here, so you you have to have a plus seven x here. So you get seven x square minus seven x. Now just subtract these seven x square minus seven x square is zero. You get seven x minus seven or minus seven minus seven x because the signs will signs will be changed of the lower equation. Now you need a uh, plus seven x, so you have to multiply it by minus seven x minus one into minus seven uh, plus seven will be better. So it will be seven x minus seven. You can just change the sign, cancel it out. You'll get a zero. So you have the other factor as six x square plus seven x plus seven. One factor is x minus one by gut feeling, by observation, by previous uh, mathematics we know. 
The second will be 6x square plus 7x plus 7. When you solve this, you'll see. Let me show you the determinant here. What will be the determinant? B squared square minus 4ac. B is 7, for A is 6, and B, C is 7. So 49 minus 4 into 6 into 7. So what, do, what are you going to get? You will get negative 119 under root. But this will not give you a real root. We are not dealing with a complex version or complex theory. We are only interested in the values which are non under root negative. So you are not going to get real root. So we'll just stop it here. So we are not interested in any of the solution which 6x square plus 7x plus 7 will give us. We are only interested in x minus 1. So x minus 1 that is x equals to 1. This is the factor we are going to use. So when x is equal to 1, what will be y? 1, y equals to x cube. So y will be equal to 1. So x is 1 and y is 1. Now let us differentiate. We will need the m1 and m2. For that we need slope divided by dx. So divided by dx is 3x square. Divided by dx here is will be equal to 6 divided by dx. I am differentiating both the equation in order to get divided by dx. So 6 divided by dx is equal to minus 2x. So this is a division by 6 minus x by 3. So you have you have 1, 1. x is 1, y is 1. Because only x minus 1 was the factor. x is equal to 1. We got y equals to 1. So 1, 1. Both these slopes you have to find out at 1 and 1 and 1. x1, y1. So m1 will be equal to 3 here. m2 will be equal to minus 1 by 3. Okay, now you don't have to go for tan theta equals to m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1, m2. No. You are very clear that when you multiply m1 and m2, as I said, this whole equation, you should not go. Because 3 and minus 1 by 3, they are self self-explaining themselves that if you multiply both of them, you are going to get negative 1. When two slopes multiplied gives you negative 1, that means these two lines are 90 degree to each other. That is, they are orthogonal. They have 90 degree in between them. I hope you got the idea. So this is the, that is why this question was different. So we attempted it. And uh, this is the reference solution. You should go through, you must go through and write it like this. So one more question we are going to uh, do it for the orthogonality. And as I said, you just don't have to do everything what we have seen in the previous questions. And uh, I've shown you the uh, reference, but the main idea is that we will do it and you'll see it's, it's so easy. That is, just find out this slope, multiply them. If it comes as negative one, you'll say they intersect orthogonally or they are 90 degree to each other, like the tangents to the curve at the point where the curve are going to intersect to each other. So let us say differentiate this. The first one is 3x square minus 3. Now x into y square, you have to use the product rule. So I'm using the product rule. First we'll keep x, differentiate y square, then we'll keep y square, then differentiate x. This is the differentiation I'm doing with the, with the product rule. And the right hand side it is going to be 0. You can cancel this 3 out. x square will be equal to 2xy dy by dx plus y square. So this dy by dx is going to be, I'm taking this here, x square minus y square by 2xy. And same thing you have to do it for the second equation also. So 3 into x square dy by dx plus y will be outside, uh, differentiation of 2x will be, uh, x square will be 2x minus uh, 3y square and there will be dy by dx also. Okay, I'm, I've just missed dy by dx, I'm going to write it just now. So it will be x square dy by dx plus 2yx is, is equal to y square into dy by dx. I'm, I've taken this negative y square which, which was previously minus 3y square which you see, see here also. I've taken this uh, on the right hand side and that is that will be accompanied by dy by dx which I just missed. I'll just write it and you'll see dy by dx will get it from here. dy by dx of the previous x cube minus 3x square equals minus 2 we have already completed. This 3x square y minus y cube equals 2 the dy by dx will also be there and that will be somewhat near to this previous one. Why I'm calling it nearer, nearer because in order to get negative one you have to have things which are similar looking because if you divide two things and it is negative one that what does that mean they have to be similar so i'm just i've just uh, included that dy by dx which i just missed now this x square dy by dx you can take uh, dy by dx common you will get x square dy by dx minus y square dy by dx this is going to be equal to negative 2yx again dy by dx you can take common it would be x square minus y square this x square minus y square goes in the denominator it will be negative 2yx divided by x square minus y square. As, as I was just indicating, they are quite similar. So this is m1, this is m2. Now what do you see here? The similarity. That is, if you multiply them, you are going to get negative 1, which is the uh, essential condition for orthogonality or 90 degree angle between two lines. So we have x1, uh, m1 and m2, we are multiplying it. You will see these all gets cancelled. Only minus 1 will remain. When you get the negative 1 with m1 and m2 multiplied, that means these lines are 90 degree to each other they are orthogonal to each other. They have 90 degree in between. 
them so this orthogonality uh, you don't have to follow the procedure uh, whole procedure no just do it the way i told you okay so this is the reference which i am providing you you can just try it by yourself also so we are going to take the next question in the later part thank you so much